I think in terms of education, uh, some of the biggest challenges around uh, things like you know, coding and computing are primary, some of the things around new assessment methods and, and, and the new curriculum. Um, I think some of those present, have presented schools with quite a lot of challenges over the last, last few years. Um, so I think in that those kinds of areas, particularly in terms of how they understand the new curriculum, I think that's beginning to kind of flatline out really. So teachers are getting to a point where they're more comfortable with where things are in terms of how they can deliver the curriculum and things like that. In terms of technology and how technology plays into that, um, I think some of the most exciting developments uh, have seen what is essentially being quite fixed technology move towards quite mobile and portable technology. Um, so we were doing a talk earlier on about virtual reality. Well, virtual reality is technology you take with you, but it's an experience you take with you. Um, it's all of the imagination that comes with being inside those immersive spaces as well. Um, so yeah, so I think for me, a couple of the really big areas around technology are around things like virtual and augmented reality, what's called mixed reality. Uh, I think all of the really exciting stuff happening with robotics is giving kids just new fuel for getting them excited about learning. Um, and I think some of, the, some of the stuff is happening in terms of this whole idea that actually the device is no longer that important. So for many, many years, schools have gone down one particular route, you know, tablets or laptops. Um, I think we're getting to a point where the device is almost irrelevant. Actually, how can we deliver a consistent experience to students across any device? Um, and I think you're starting to see some of that, I bet now. So. I think for me the most inspirational thing, so, my, uh, so I'm, uh, I've been a teacher for 15 years uh, and I spent the last six years as a senior leader um, and I think in all of that time I think the most inspirational thing that I've learned is that children want to learn and they can be incredibly good learners um, irrespective of what we don't or do throw at them. You know, so I just happen to be in a very technology savvy school with lots of access to technology um, but what I found was that um, some of the most exciting things that we did wasn't about how the technology, well, whether the technology was there or whether the technology was switched on. Again, it was about the experiences that we could create. So it was very much about being able to give students the ability to do things that are just more creative and just more imaginative. And I think that's where technology should sit. So I think when we're talking about technology or selling technology, for me, it's about how is it going to spark, how is it going to get kids all fired up and sparked up? Um, and also, at which point do we put it on one side? You know, it's, uh, it's tempting to want to have it there all of the time. And I think for the first time with a technology like virtual reality, the idea is, and I was saying it on stage there, that this is a 10 minute experience. This is a five minute experience. So I show them a video of students walking uh, through Aleppo. So they're walking through Aleppo at the heart of the devastation and how for every student in five minutes they're able to create their own perspectives because they can all look around themselves at different, uh, different paces and different rates. Um, so yeah, so I think for me the most inspirational thing has always been the fact that irrespective of what we give kids, they will learn and they will learn very well. So long as the teacher is, uh, is, is somebody that can get them fired up and engaged. I've been coming to bed for 17 years now uh, and uh, actually about 10 of those, maybe 10 or, 10 or 11 of those was as a teacher working in partnership with organisations that, um, that we had on board at those times. I think what excites me the most about BETS, when I finally get a chance to go around and have a bit of a look, is that there will be some amazing technology out there. There will be some things that, um, so for example, the BET Futures area, for me is an exciting space. You go to BET Futures, you'll have a single man on a stand uh, with a product that you know, just seems to tick lots and lots of boxes. And for me, what's exciting is watching that journey from a single stand on BET to what might be one of the biggest stands on BET over time. Um, but doing it because they've got good products. You know, it's not because they've got great sales teams and great marketing. Actually, people want it because it's a fantastic product. So, so for me, it's, it's just, the, yeah, just seeing all of the great technologies uh, and getting to the edges. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big one for getting right to the edges of BET because on the edges, you've got the smaller guys, you've got the things that you wouldn't hear about necessarily, the things you wouldn't see. I like, I like walking the edges and I like walking BET futures in some of the smaller areas because that for me is the exciting stuff. Those are guys like me. Uh, who want to just do get some great edtech products into the market so